Well, with snow falling again in the northwest, we've already had several days where chains or traction devices have been required on Highway 26 and government camp. In today's Behind the Wheel, Tony has more on what you'll need to take on this year's winter driving conditions. If it's Aaron at Les Schwab, it must be winter tire season. It's that time. Our big annual get together. So um, before we get into all the details, is there anything new under the sun or under the snow in the world of winter tires? What's fairly new, uh, it's more of a hybrid type tire. Okay. Or a true four season tire. They soften that rubber compound up a little bit. They open the tread face. They add more biting edges or sipes into the tire. And tell me more about that because people, I think, when they look at a studded tire or a tire with chains on it, they can see the difference. Oh, yeah. But when you look at these, they look the same. But the rubber compound is different and the performance is different. Yep, absolutely. The more you get into a true winter tire or even the hybrid option, that rubber compound is more hydrophilic. So when it gets cold, it doesn't freeze and get as hard as a regular all-season or three-season tire. And how would you notice that, you know, behind the wheel? Just going to grip that much better, get you stop that much quicker, that much safer, um, and also get you going again just that much better. And it's hard to believe, again, just looking at it, you wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference. But it's a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Always look for that mountain snowflake or the three-peak design. That's going to designate a true four-season or winter tire compared to a regular three-season or all-season tread. So moving on to actually putting something on your tire, we have a couple different choices here. The the tire stock. This is my favorite. Is, is this like <laughs> this is like the new the new darling in the world of winter tires? It's really become very popular because most of the newer vehicles they don't have clearance for a chain or a cable to even fit between the tire and the suspension. Yeah. So the socks with that fiber mesh. When those fibers get to the ground, the weight of the vehicle just impact that fiber into the snow and ice and give you that extra grip. Then you have what I fear the most, uh, the cable chain. The cables, ah! yes. <laughs> um, definitely not near as easy to put on as the right, socks. Right. Um, but traction-wise and durability-wise, a huge step up from the sock. So who is buying the full-on old-school chains these days? This is still probably one of our most popular as well. Really? They're super easy to put on in the quick fit design uh, with a diamond pattern. You don't get that same lug, lug, lug like an old school chain would have. Right. Um, traction wise, they're outstanding. And durability, top. And as always, I mean, we say this every year, but you know, it's a nice sunny day today. This is the day to do all the tire, winter, chain, sock, whatever you're gonna do. Plan on it now because uh, we know what happens. First snowflake flies <laughs> yep. and the line is out the door. All right, well, I hope to not have to see you again this you winter. Drive if safe. we do, we know you guys will be here. All right, guys, back to you. Shauna, you love the socks. I got to yeah. tell you, I make it easy. I stay home. <laughs> I don't go anywhere when we it snows. We did try I the socks, though, for the first yeah. time last year, them. and they were amazing. Yeah. I'm with Tony on that one. All right. All right. Andy